All right, guys, as you can see, spread out here on the workbench is the 4L80 uh, with the transfer case and the transfer case transmission adapter. Uh, what we're going to do today is um, there's a little plug on the two wheel drive 4L80s right here. As you can see, it's got a little pinhole in it, and that's allowed uh, fluid to get back here and it lose the tail shaft uh, bearing inside of the tail shaft housing. We don't need that no more, so I've got a part that I've ordered, as you can see right here. It's basically just a real small freeze plug. Um, that's your part number right there. If you want to go look it up, it's the AC Delco. Uh, what we're going to do is put it in there. Also, I've got the gasket that's going to go up against here, and then the adapter uh, plate will go inside of that or it'll bolt up to it and I've also got the o-ring right here that'll go on the other side so let's get this thing right here popped in here all right guys as you can see we've got that plug out it's right here uh, what I've done is I ripped off this o-ring that was around it it's just got a flat flange as you can see uh, the flat flange seats up around this area I just bent that, I did not harm this. All we're gonna do is just take this little old plug here that you see. We're just gonna stick it inside of here. And we're gonna get us a little, like a 3 8 uh, socket that'll fit inside of there. Uh, and we'll drive it in there just a little ways till it's flush and that hole will be blocked off. So give me just a second and we'll do that. All right, there you go. As you can see, we've got it in there. All I done was took this little eight millimeter socket here, put it inside there, just like that. Tapped it in there, got this flush right here. It's got just a little bit seated. So, uh, went in there with no problem. Now what we're gonna do is get this gasket stuff, put it on this adapter plate, uh, spin this transmission around, slide this transfer case on here and we'll get it all bolted up all right there you go as you can see we got it all bolted together got the gasket inside of here and this is a little round rubber o-ring gasket got the paper gasket in between here as you can see on this side i didn't have the the right bolts so i've got some grade 8 bolts to replace it uh, I've, used, I've had factory bolts that came out of the tail housing from the tool drive uh, put all those back the next step what I'm going to do is clean all this up really good uh, the outside of it will get painted um, probably gloss black but that's it in a nutshell that's kind of all you have to do to a 4L80 tool drive to convert it to a full wheel drive uh, real quick again we'll run down what we've done took the two-wheel drive 4l80 took the tail shaft off of it or actually the tail shaft housing it was a full spline it has to be a full spline cut it down to length um, i think i cut like three and a quarter or three and a half inches off um, bought the adapter plate off of amazon That'll bolt a 4L80 to a NP208 transfer case. And that is what we're running is the 208 transfer case there. Uh, I needed it to be passenger side dump because that's what side my dry shaft is on my 84K10. So next thing will be, like I said, getting this all cleaned up, painted. Then we're gonna install it inside of the truck it uh it bolts to the original factory 84 k10 cross member for the transmission um my dry shaft should slide up on here if not i've got uh, a couple of them uh the transmission uh, front dry shaft bolts up to that and then here's all my shifter stuff uh, for my floor as you can see it's inside of there 
So that concludes the, the rest of the 4L80 two-wheel drive to 4L84 drive transfer.